everybody, E here. Welcome back to Thursday Theorist. Today, we are talking about Lisey's story. Now, um, this book get, has, a, has a crappy reputation. I'm going to tell you that right off the bat. Um, there is absolutely no reason for it. Um, there is quite a few people who lump this in with the trilogy of Trash, Dreamcatcher, from a view cake, and Cell. This book doesn't deserve to be anywhere near that. What happened was, King finally wrote a mature story that has no horror element whatsoever. Um, it does have some supernatural stuff. Um, it does have some supernatural thriller-esque moments. Um, but it is not a horror story. What this story is, it is a love, it is a love letter to the spouses of writers. These women and men who sit in the background and watch the rest of us play in our make-believe land. Um, the first time I read this book, I didn't get it. Um, I, did, I, was in, I was in the hate train along with the, you know, I, I lumped it in with that 19, the, the books that I lumped in with the aftermath of his accident in 1999. I hate myself for that because this is one of his best novels. Uh, the reason I say that now I don't I don't put that up there in my best because it is it's almost as if it's outside of King's catalog. Um, even Bag of Bones has the horror element with the ghosts and everything. Um, this one that is not the focus. Um, there are some stuff. There is some stuff in Booyah Moon. And we'll get to that in a minute. But when I came back to this one during my reread in 2015. Um, I'd been I've been married for several years at that point, 14 years, and I finally understood what he was talking about. I understood where he was coming from, and I read it as if I were Scott Landon, the one who died, and I had left Shell behind, and that was so much more poignant and upsetting and affecting than thinking of it as any other novel. Um, you will get much more out of this book if you are a writer. There's a lot of stuff like that. I, I, I suspect that you would get even more if you are the spouse of a writer. Um, those forgotten souls in the background who make it easier for us to do what we do. I'm going to try not to get emotional here, but Shell's sitting on the other side of the camera and I am, I'm feeling it. Sorry. Um, okay, so about the book. Like I said, I love the book. Um, for some odd reason, every time I think about this book, I, ex I, I seem to remember that Scott Landon dies um, at the beginning from the gunshot wound. That's not the case. He actually survives it. That's where the shovel comes into play, the shovel that's in all the covers, um, when Lisey knocks the dude out with the shovel, um, knocks the, uh, the rabid fan. But then it moves on, and he's passed away, and she has to go into and unpack all the stuff that he has left, all this life that he has left behind and all these boxes and everything. Um, funny backstory to that, um, that actually happened to King after um, he he got sick after the car accident. He got sick with pneumonia and Tabitha thought while he's away at you know convalescing in the hospital, I am going to rearrange his office. And so when he got out of the hospital, she wasn't done yet, and she said, "I wouldn't, I wouldn't go in there. It's a disaster." He goes in there anyways, um, and he sees what it would look like if he had died. You know, he comes, he comes home to all of his stuff packed up because she's working on, you know, renovating the office, and he has that moment. And this was born, this book was born out of that. Um, so if you are one of those people out there who hate this book. Um, or who stick their nose up at it because it's not horror. I ask you to read it again with what I've told you with that in mind. Um, especially if you're an author, um, especially if you are the spouse of an author, um, even a wannabe author or aspiring, however you want to put it. I would like you to reread it with that in mind. Okay, so enough of the wishy-washy, mushy bullshit. Um, let's jump into the the meat and potatoes that you guys are here for um, the connections here is very simple uh, in fact somebody mentioned uh, they couldn't wait for me to bend over backwards trying to connect this one the territories are mentioned in this one territories from the wasteland they're also mentioned in here 
uh, well, sorry, from the Talisman are mentioned in here, and they're mentioned in the Wasteland, so all the way back to the Dark Tower. That one's easy. East Stoneman is also mentioned. That one's in Wolves of the Kala. That's a town, by the way. Uh, Wolves of the Kala and Song of Susanna. And finally, I would like to make a big drastic leap and say that the other place in this one, Buya Moon, is actually the same place that Mrs. Todd ends up in Mrs. Todd's shortcut. Okay? I would also go as far to say that it's the same place that Rose ends up in, in the... No. Is it Rose? I can't remember. That. Is the name, main, main character from Rose Matter named Rose? I can't remember. And it's going to bother me. Hang on. Let, let's check this. I don't think it is. Is it? It is Rose. Rose Matt, Rose. Dang it. Anywho. So, but I would say that it's also the same place that Rose ends up at the end of Rose Matter. So, anywho. And did you find anything else that connects anywhere else? Did I miss anything? I know how much you guys like telling me what I missed. So, leave it down there in the comment section. I promise I won't get mad. But until next time, I have any... You've been you. This has been another Thursday Theorist Review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.